Hey guys, the objective for this video and the videos to come are to find the displacements and forces in global coordinates and the force in local coordinates. Now, this is going to be a series of videos because the truss examples tend to be quite long um, compared to the other examples which you'll, you'll see in the next couple of topics. So just keep keep arms um, seated because it's going to be a little bit of a while. So the first thing we're going to be doing in this video is defining the degree of freedom and the location vector. So degree of freedom, just like we saw in the derivation, so here's the derivation in the previous video, we have these axes or degree of freedoms in global coordinates. Okay, so just think of them in the x and y coordinates. But the important thing is when labeling degree of freedoms, you want to do it such that you label them in the order where you start, where, where the um, truss is free to move. Okay, so you can see at this pin joint here, it's restrained to move in the x and y direction. Whereas at this point here, this point can move up and down and left and right. So we want to come and label that first. Now it might not seem, it might not um, make sense why we're doing that now, but when we go through this example, you'll see the point of doing this. And we also tend to label horizontal and then vertical. So we're labeling this degree one and that degree of freedom two. So it can move left and right and up and down. So we come and label one and two first. Now, nowhere else is free to move. So now we can start labeling the restraint conditions. So we're going to come and put axes there and axes there, or degrees of freedom there and there. Once again, these are both restrained. So I could label that 3, 4, or that 3, 4, and that 5, 6, and that 5, 6. It really doesn't matter. Once again, the convention is 3. I'm going to actually label that one 3 and that one 4. And this one will be 5, and that one will be 6. But once again, it doesn't really matter what you do. The only important thing is that when labeling degree of freedoms, label 